Hi, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple LCD clock using a PIC microcontroller, no crystals, use the internal oscillator, one resistor, one potentiometer for the contrast, and because Valentine's Day is approaching, you see we're in February, I'll show you how to get these little heart symbols, or generate a character of your choice. So this is obviously the title, that's the time, seconds, tenths of seconds and this is how many minutes has elapsed since I powered the thing up that's how I can calibrate it so there's no crystals this is a PIC 16F886 28 pin version you can get the 40 pin versions soldered onto a PCB 4K7 pull up on master clear and that's it no other components on this board I've got it running on four nickel metal hydro batteries so roughly 5 volts with a 10k potentiometer on the back for the contrast. So if you haven't already purchased your LCD module, look at the 16 pin and hopefully this shallow will give you the pin configuration. But this is what you're looking for. So we've got ground, power, VEEs for the contrast, register, select, read, write, which you tie to ground, enable, and then DB0, 1, 2 and 3. They're the first four least significant bytes of the data. We ignore those and we just concentrate on these four significant bits. The upper four bits and then power and ground for the backlight. So you can configure these pins in the program. But how I've wired them today is as follows. So you can see DB4, 5, 6 and 7. I'll be 0, 1, 2 and 3. RP4 and 5 are the register select and enable pins. Read write, tie to ground because we're not going to read. VSS ground, VEE, bring out to a wiper on a potentiometer and a potentiometer you put across the supply. That simple. No crystals, no ceramic resonators, nothing. There's one 4K7 pull up resistor and master clear. So there's the OSCON register of the PIC 16F886 and you can see here I'm setting these first three bits. And to use the internal oscillator you need to configure some of the items in the config1 register. This config1 register is not programmable in a program space, a special function register. These parts are programmed when you first program the microcontroller. On Microelectronica's software is set in the programmer, so it's these parts here. These are the config1 register settings. So, for example, it doesn't matter about this because we can define the OSCON in the code. So, XT will be a normal crystal, whether you want the watchdog on. So, this internal external switchover enable and fail so clock monitor enable. And for those of you with a microchip, Pick kit 2 programmer, the configuration up here, in case you're not familiar with it. Click on that, and then looking at the data sheet, you select the various ones or zeros for these bits here. So page 208, internal external switchover is bit 10, and fail save clock monitor is bit 11. And here we are, they're already selected, so bit 10 and bit 11. If you didn't want the internal switch over and power save clock monitor, you just put zeros in there. So that's the configuration for the LCD display. I've got a char for the tenths of seconds. I've got this first because I've got the timer below. So if you're not familiar with timer interrupts, look at my other video. So this is applicable to most of the 16F series microcontrollers. So you can see we're setting the option reg, timer zero, and the end con. On the interrupt, clear the flag, preload timer zero with 126. I've got a 26 microsecond delay and then it increases the tenths of seconds. Now this 26 microsecond delay is because this particular timer configuration gives us an interrupt every 16.64 milliseconds, but we want the interrupt to occur every 0.01666, not 64, so it's happening slightly early. So that's the timer configuration. 
We've got various chars for the seconds, minutes and hours and I'll set the time here before programming it and I've got these strings here. This minute counter is the number you saw in the bottom right hand corner so I can see how many minutes have elapsed and see if my clock is gaining or losing. So this constant char character, if you're using Micro C Pro for Pick, go up to Tools, LCD Custom Character, generate your character there, just click various boxes for what shape you want. You can see I've got the heart, and I'm on Micro C Pro for Pick, You've got Micro Pascal and Basic. Generate code down the bottom. Copy to clipboard. And you simply paste this here. So this I've already got. So I can delete this. And what I simply did, copy. Copy this. Put it in your main loop. And then the position row and column, is here and here, just tell it where you want the character to go. So in my case it's row 2, position 1. So that's how you import a custom LCD font. Now we're down to the main. So initialize time and naught. This is the OSCON register. So this is setting the internal oscillator on a microcontroller. So today I'm running the OSCON at 8 megahertz, which is hexadecimal 70. And I've given you some other examples here, so like 04 will give you 1 megahertz, 03 will give you 500 kilohertz, 001 will give you 125 kilohertz. So we're setting port A and B as outputs, configuring the outputs as digital, initializing the LCD, clear the display, turn the cursor off, this is my first title. This is the heart you saw on the left hand side, imported from above. And then in the wire one, every time we can interrupt, the tenths of seconds is increasing. When they get to 60, we're zeroing those tenths and incrementing the seconds. So 60 of those will give us one second. Then when, when we've got 60 seconds, we zero the seconds and increase the minutes. And this is where I've got my minutes counter, bottom right hand corner. Then 60 minutes gives us an hour. And you can see the hours increment. And then 24 hours, we zero the hours. And there's our simple clock. And to simply display the numbers on the screen, look at this. So, simple project. One pick microcontroller, no crystals. Just using the internal oscillator, one LCD display, a few AA batteries, and you've got yourself a clock. You saw I had a 26 microsecond delay on the interrupt, but you could maybe increase or decrease that. But over a long period, you may not get the exact value. So, what you can do delete this from the display, but carry on counting. So, for example, every 57 minutes subtract one second or add one second or maybe it's every couple of hours so every 120 minutes something like that just to calibrate your clock obviously you look at it over 24 hours and you'll get an accurate calibration so as i say this has been for beginners hopefully it's given you some insight thank you for watching